guys, it's me again. I just got done watching some more of the person I love to hate, and that's truthfully Trisha. No, I do not like her, okay? Why I watch her, I don't know. I think it's a way for me to get my anger out somehow. But about five days ago, and then three days ago also, she live-streamed herself taking a bath. Yes, she's got a little towel over her wonky boobs, but she is in so much need of attention that she has to get in the bathtub to do it because it's the closest thing to being naked on YouTube. She can't do it on YouTube, what she does on OnlyFans. <clears throat> hey, you want to do an OnlyFans? Go ahead and do it. I don't know if I was young and beautiful, if I would do it or not. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but anyway, this is the closest she could get to being nude, and she wants that attention. Most of her followers are men, and she knows that, and she thrives on that. And she's, you know, she's like, she's talking about self-care is what she starts out to say. I want to talk to you about self-care. And then she goes on and she goes off on this whole other thing that you don't even know what she's talking about. What happened to the self-care? Self-care is taking a bath. Okay. She wants to show us that. It's like kind of what she's saying. But she talks about how she did what she had to do to survive at one point. Where that came about, I have no idea because I don't know what she was even talking about. But she talks about how she had to do what she had to do to survive. You know what, honey? You be homeless, have no food, and no money, and nobody to help you. And yes, I was a drug addict. But I was still out there on the street with no place to sleep, no place to live, nobody to turn to, and no job. So I had to do what I had to do to survive. When you have to do that, honey, then you could come and tell me what you had to do to survive. That, just sorry, it really irritated me. What did she have to do? She had a house and supposedly a husband who beat her. Which is another thing. If her husband beat her so bad, why does she keep talking about him? She knows they know her address, where she lives. And yet she keeps talking shit about him. If she was so scared of him because he beat her so badly, why does she keep talking shit about him? Isn't she worried that he's going to lose it and come to the house and finish her off? I mean, come on. If you were so afraid of somebody, you would not be talking shit about him on YouTube. Where people would see all this. Are you kidding me? If he was that crazy, he would have been over there already. She, the, the woman is totally out of it. I, I don't know what she thinks. She, she, well, I do know what she thinks. She thinks she's God's gift to the earth. Um, she has a job to do, she said. And her job is vlogging. So she can tell you what. What about her domestic violence again? And she goes into that and she talks as if she's been beaten every single day of her life. As if she's been tied to the post, uh, not fed, not clothed, nothing. I, you know, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I could see him. I'm sorry. When she's up in his face, like she yells sometimes on YouTube, I could see him smacking her. The, wrong as that is, I could see him losing it and just smacking her right across the face. Um, maybe he did that and she calls that domestic violence. Domestic violence is when someone's got their hands around your throat and you think you're going to die. I've, I've been spit on, I've been hit, I've been knocked down, I've been held down. Um, with a different person, I was tied. My hands were tied behind my back and I was threatened about leaving the house. So I know about domestic violence, okay? And yes, and she's telling you, get up and get out. Go, just leave. No, it's not that easy, stupid. Oh, God, she pisses me off. And I think this is, like, where I'm saying I think I need to get my anger out. And listening to her is, is, is kind of how to do it. <laughs> um, 
And then she talks about people that have been sitting on the couch watching YouTube since 1982. Sweetheart, you've been on the couch talking on YouTube since 1982. You know, she she talks about how, she, yes, she was fat and bloated and angry. Well, you're not fat anymore and you're not bloated anymore, but you're still angry. And you're covering this up. You're acting like you found peace. You're so peaceful and everything's so good now. You don't have to do the things you used to do, yet you post nude on OnlyFans. That's for attention. You still need attention. You're not improving. You're not getting better. I hate to clue you in on that. She claims she used to be obsessed with who was watching her, who was posting about her, who was blogging about her, who was tweeting about her, but not anymore. Uh, give me a break. She, that's just as important then as it was not, as it is now. Um, I, I just, I can't get in my mind why she's still on YouTube. I mean, yeah, she needs attention, but why go on YouTube and say, I don't need all this attention anymore. I found peace. I found my life. I've changed my life. I'm at peace now. Okay, well then turn your camera off. I go on because I have no one to tell my feelings to. So I kind of use that as a tool. And one of these days I'm going to go live and I'm going to be brave and I'm going to talk to people. It's the closest thing right now I can have to friends because I am afraid of kind of leaving my house. I don't like to do it. I'm scared to death to go live. And I really want to because I've had people comment on my posts and I try to comment back on it. I would love to have a conversation with people. I'm just, I'm so worried about the impression that I'm going to make that I don't want to do that. I try so hard to get out and do things, but I panic right away thinking I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to spit while I'm talking. I'm going to have sleep in my eye. You know, I mean, I worry about all this stuff and it's stupid. It's, it's, it's really stupid. But anyway, back to her. She gets on and she's talking about how peaceful and how good she feels right now. She still goes off on her ex about how she was in a domestic violent marriage. She also, now she, she has this, I don't know, it's a 1-800 number maybe, I don't know, where you can call and you can tell her what it is about her that bothers you so much or if you were hurt by her or whatever. And as soon as people call in, she starts berating them. She starts yelling at him, calling him names, and saying stupid stuff like, is your husband there? He's probably jacking off to me right now. I mean, she does stupid shit like that. What the fuck is wrong with this woman? What is seriously wrong with her? I don't, I mean, I don't get it. How can you come out with all smiles and pretty and, and talk about the peace you found and how you're such a different person, and then five minutes later be berating somebody? How do you berate somebody and talk about how you're peaceful? I don't get it. Somebody explain this to me. What is what is it? What is wrong with her? I I mean I know what's wrong with her. I know she's a narcissist. I know she's sneaky. She's conniving, and I wouldn't trust her as far as I could spit, and I can't spit. So, what is, what is it? What is she? I think she needs to see a therapist. That's what I think. I honestly think she needs to see a therapist. Maybe she already is, and that's where she's coming up with all these wonderful sayings that she has now about being peaceful and how you got to care for yourself before you can care for anybody else and all this stuff. But you know what? When you're giving your little speech, do it clothed in your room. Don't be doing it in a bathtub with a towel that keeps getting wetter and wetter and you keep moving purposely. Save that for OnlyFans. If people really want to hear you, and the only reason I do it is I think it makes me angry and then I can come on here and bitch about her 
and it kind of calms me down a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I should see a therapist. I probably should. Um, but I don't know. But I know that she she does have a hell of a lot of fans. Hell of a lot of fans. But she's also got a lot of enemies. And they aren't all women. They are not all women, like she said. Everybody that's against her are, is women that are jealous of her. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, she's just evil. And there's, you could see, and she's smiling and she's so happy. But you're waiting. You're just waiting for that evil to come to the surface. And it always does. And it's, it's, it's really sad. Uh, I'd really like to talk to her face to face. Maybe not face to face, but computer to computer, phone to phone, however it is. I would love to talk to her and tell her, you know what you are. I really would. And just see how off the rails she goes. Um, I've commented on a few of her videos. Of course, she doesn't comment back. But I'm waiting for it, and I'm ready for it. Believe me. I, I think all that built-up anger I've had inside me for so long would really be released. All she's got to do is answer me. So any of you people that are here just because you want to see what I'm saying about her so you can go back and tell her. And I'm not talking to the women I've been talking to or or the people that are making comments. I'm talking about the ones that are secretly just watching and not commenting, not saying anything, and are just going to wait to go back to tell her, please do, because I really would love to get a lot off my chest. <sighs> okay, I feel a little better now. <laughs> I really do. Okay, I got to confess. You know, I went to the store. Uh, my daughter paid me back what she owed me. I went to the store. And I bought Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and I wasn't going to. I didn't want to. I really didn't. But I kept thinking, I know later today I'm going to want some, and then I'm going to be upset, and I'm going to be crazy. I'm rationalizing why I needed to get Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But I did. And I hate that. I hate that I did. And what am I going to do, throw them away? No. Give them to my niece and nephew? No, because then they'll be bouncing all over my walls. Um, my grandchildren? No. No, because they're down here with me all the time. I stay in the basement of the house. Part of it is finished off, except for the roof. There's the ceiling. It's just wood panels. It looks terrible, but other than that, there's half paneling. He's paneling on this whole side of the wall. But then the rest of it is just purely basement with storage. Everybody's got their stuff down here. My stuff, my daughter's stuff. The landlord still has an old water heater down here, an old furnace down here, and some other stuff. I don't even know what it is. A big box of junk. But I have this one little area that is mine. And I, I, I like it. I'm too afraid to live alone because... I do have some health problems. I do have, well, being bipolar is not uh, comforting. It's kind of scary sometimes. But I do get panic attacks a lot. And I, if I get a panic attack now and go upstairs and talk to somebody upstairs, I can almost, without even telling them I'm having a panic attack, I can almost relax myself be relaxed by talking to them about anything i don't know if it's bad enough i'll tell them i'm having a panic attack please talk to me help i'm scared and then it'll they'll talk me out of it and i'll feel better and i'll come downstairs if i live alone i won't have anything i won't have anybody but anyway my time is almost up because we only get 15 minutes and I will talk to you again. I'm going to try to go live tonight. I'm going to try as hard as I can. But I might chicken out. So I just want to say that about Truthfully Trashy. I mean Trisha. I'll see you later. Like and subscribe. Bye.